Now this question number 6 also involves a light pulley and we need to find out the time period of simple harmonic motion of the block. Uh, see in this case if you displace this by x by how much does this pulley move? If you displace this block by x downward then the pulley will move a distance x by 2 downward. So, what is the force in the spring? So, the so the extension in the spring is k uh, is x by 2. So, the spring force is k x by 2. Now, here also we have to neglect gravity or we neglect gravity to find out time period as time period will not depend on g. So, now as we have taken the light pulley. So, this tension now the force on the pulley should be balanced, the net force on the pulley should be 0. So, each of this on and the net torque is also 0 on the pulley. So, from center if you take torque, torque on the pulley is 0 that means these two forces have to be equal and as the force is 0 each of these forces is equal to kx by 4. If this force is kx by 4 so, so is the tension in the string kx by 4. So, the conclusion is that if you stretch the block down by x then the force kx by 4 acts on it upward. This is after neglecting gravity and this force only matters because this is the excess force given by the rope. Even in presence of gravity mg and tension those will balance each other and if you still if presence of gravity if you pull the block downward by x then the excess tension in the string will be <coughs> kx by 4. So, conclusion is that f equal to minus of k by 4 x. So, therefore, the time period of simple harmonic motion is 2 pi root over of m divided by k by 4 that is 2 pi root over 4m by k. Another similar problem just a bit of modification on this one will be question number 7. Here it is basically a combination of problem 6 and problem 5 we have done before. So, this is a spring of constant k1 and see we have another spring here k2 and this is the light pulley <coughs> massless pulley and you have a block of mass m here. Now what is the time period of simple harmonic motion of the block? Now again for finding the time period we will put gravity as 0 and the logic I have told you more than once. Okay. Now, the displacements it is a bit more tricky than the previous one. Here is no such easy relation x and x by 2. Here suppose this spring stretches by x1 and this spring stretches by x2. Right. So, here extension in spring 1 and spring 2 say spring 1 extension is x1 spring 2 extension is x2. Now, by superposition you can find x in terms of x1 and x2. So, that is a very simple way of finding out. Suppose you forget about this x2 if x2 is not there then uh, what will be x? x will be 2 x1 and if x1 is not there only solely due to x2 then what will be x same as x2 right. I mean uh, there is no extension in this spring. So, the extension in this spring is same as the distance moved by the block downward. So, this is the principle of superposition we use and here calculating the excess forces right. <coughs> so, suppose the extra force is f here 
it's a here it's a here so as the forces on the pulley is balanced so you write 2f equal to k1 x1 and as this is also the same force acting on this spring so you can write f equal to k2 x2 so again you can combine in this equation x equal to 2 times x1 in terms of x in uh, place of x1 we will put 2f by k1 and x2 will put f by k2 therefore f equal to <coughs> k1 k2 by 4 k2 plus k1 multiplied by x now they are you can put a minus sign if you want but magnitude is this only so i'll just put a minus sign here to show that the if the displacement is down obviously the force is upward so to show this direction so hence now this this whole thing inside the bracket is the constant of the simple harmonic motion so as you see it is 2 pi root over of m by this whole thing k1 k2 by this will go on top 4 k2 plus k1 right let's move on to the next problem <coughs> Suppose this again for your convenience, this is a light pulley okay and obviously there is gravity so you have to find out time period of simple harmonic motion of the block so how to proceed here again will it depend on g no time period won't depend on g because the excess forces the to we actually we have to calculate the excess forces right now from equilibrium if you stretch it by x obviously g is a con um, that weight is a constant force so it won't contribute to the excess forces contribution is only due to the spring force so knowing that beforehand we will put g equal to 0 and calculate the time period so if you displace it by x then the extension in the spring will be 2x obviously it is 2x because if this pulley has to go down by x right see this pulley initially it was here and this pulley has to go down by a distance x as the block is moved down by x then it needs uh, the string the string to be stretched by a distance 2x but the string is unstretchable so the whole stretch of this 2x is done in the spring itself so the spring stretches by a length 2x here so spring extends by a distance 2x So now we can calculate the forces. This is 2kx, this is 2kx. So force, the net force acting on it is minus of 2 into 2kx, that is f equal to minus 4kx. Hence, the time period is 2 pi root over of m by. 4k
now similar to the last question a subtle difference now if you displace this now in this problem also you have to find out the time period now if you displace this by x what will be the extension in each spring now we know that the total stretch in the string will be 2x so if these two springs are of same force constant then each spring displacement will be x only right so x in this and x in this okay but this is not the case here here the two springs have different force constants k1 and k2 now what will be the time period of such shl so here as you know as in the same thing uh, as following the same logic if this pulley goes down by x then the extension in both the springs so suppose extension in spring 1 equal to x1 Achha, s1 means spring 1 extension in s2 equal to x2 now as you know the total extension will be 2x so we can conclude that x1 plus x2 equal to 2x right okay and as you know tension will have to be same why it is same again as this is a massless pulley from the center of the pulley if you consider torque it has to be zero okay so these two forces are equal and again these two forces are forces in the individual springs itself right so if you look at the springs each of the springs the force is f so i think you got my point right so yeah, this spring k1 this force from both sides is f and this spring k2 force from both sides is f as well <coughs> so let's name this equation one again so the second equation i will get k1 x1 equal to k2 x2 equal to f this becomes equation 2 right now so i think we can find x1 and x2 here or uh, rather we can express the force so what will be the net force net force on the block is 2f upwards so x1 plus x2 equal to 2x <coughs> so you can substitute here x1 in equation 1 f by k1 plus f by k2 equal to 2x implies f equal to 2 k1 k2 by k1 plus k2 x now now this net force equal to minus of 2f right net force on this block after it is pulled down by x is 2f upward so that i am writing f net is minus 2f that is equal to minus 4 k1 k2 by k1 plus k2 times x now this is the constant of shm and i think now you can find out the time period 2 pi root of r m by these whole things 4 k1 k2 and k1 plus k2 on top 